can't live a lie Splashing for my life I would evolve for you I came in like a magic card <laughs> Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest dude in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger in her thumb and the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, <laughs> In really just a second, watch this. I think we could do it if we try it. It's only a study. Have you collected too many sets of dice? Do you struggle to carry your dice from one session to the next? Are your dice kept in an unorganized, ugly plastic bag, making it impossible to find an entire set? Introducing Dice Bags. With a dice bag, you can separate eight different sets of dice with room for extra in the middle. You can quickly find your favorite set without disrupting gameplay. And dice bags make it easy to take your dice wherever you go. Dice bags, they're for carrying dice. Hey, if you're somebody who struggles with depression and has a hard time brushing their teeth like me, I recommend these. They're from Lush, and the reason I recommend these is they taste like candy, and when you chew them up in your mouth, they foam up into really pretty colors, which is really appeasing to watch, and they're eco-friendly too. The litter robot is absolutely worth every penny. Our cats are taking turns using the litter robot, coincidentally. And once they're done and the waste is there, uh, the machine senses that it's dirty and begins a clean cycle. It sifts through the uh, litter and the waste gets dumped into that hole that you see. And the machine then rotates around, continues to sift through the clean litter and eventually, it will go back into the position where it will be used again, and all of the waste is at the bottom. Can we please, for the love of God, bring back wearing capes? Okay, suck the man, express elevator, diner guy, snag on tape, splash down, sucked into a vortex, no capes! Alright, so let me put you onto this drink. You so saw what you're gonna ask for is, hi, can I get a venti, strawberry and cream frappuccino, with two pumps of white mocha, no puree in the cup, whipped cream, and the holiday toppings on top. I would just like to say that my school is really doing their junk with delivering us food. Like, look at all of this! I won't have to complain about food for the entire semester. My fridge is completely full and this is only after three days. I... I... If you want to go to college for free, then stop scrolling. This is not a joke. I'm about to tell you about a program that will cover all your college costs, from tuition to housing to transportation. Yale, Stanford, Duke, and many other colleges are all part of this and is known as the QuestBridge National College Match Program. If you come from a family that makes below $65,000 a year, are in the top 5-10% to 10 of your class, and also are first generation, then this is the program for you. And here's how it works. You submit your application by the end of September, and then in mid-October, you rank 12 schools that you want to apply to, and through the QuestBridge program, your goal is to get matched to one of these schools. Finalists are announced a few days later. If you become a finalist, then you have to submit match requirements, and then at the beginning of December, there is match day, and if you get matched to a school, you are then offered a full four-year ride at that school. Like and follow for more college app advice. College is expensive. Like, very, very expensive. And the reality is that tuition keeps rising and the cost of college isn't getting any cheaper. But most people don't have this kind of money, so how do you pay for college? If you're first generation or come from a low-income family, then apply to the QuestBridge National College Match Scholarship. 
The match scholarship covers a full four-year scholarship along with tuition and fees, room and board, books and supplies, and travel expenses. The application is due in two weeks. Good luck and follow for more scholarship advice. Ever wanted to decorate your fourth level in Animal Crossing? Here's how. First step is to dig a 2x2 square, leaving the bottom corner curved like you can see. Next, take a small item such as a flower and place it in the middle in front of you. With the terraforming tool equipped, you're going to want to line up the green of your helmet with the item and you're going to want to turn around facing the southeast corner while simultaneously pressing A. This will take a little bit and you might not get it the first time, but keep going and eventually you'll glitch up onto the fourth floor. Although you can't place any waterfalls, you can place items and trees. You can decorate as much as you want. I can't show you the majority of this manga without getting banned. Pumpkin Knight is essentially an old school slasher revenge manga with gore on par with some six digit numbers. One day, a bunch of people start getting a friend request from a girl with a pumpkin on her head. Not too long later, she shows up and kills you. Turns out it's a girl named Naoko who ended up in a mental institution after being abused in high school. So everyone she bullied teams up to kill her before she kills everyone else. The manga is moderately thrilling, but let's be real, this is what you're here for. Please provide evidence that God does not exist. Okay. Could God create a rock that's so heavy he couldn't lift it? Yes, he can't move the rock. No, he can't create anything. Either way, he's not all-powerful. Since God is defined as all-powerful, God isn't God and God can't exist. In crying, please look at what I found on Wallpaper Engine. 